couldn't dance and said we couldn't drink and unless a man allowed it they said we couldn't think they said we shouldn't speak unless we were spoken to well there was just so much back then we weren't allowed to do once married everything she owned became the sole property of her husband she would have no rights to her children in the case of a divorce and if her husband should die, she had no assurance she would be able to keep her own children. Political excitement is surely not your gain, nor suitable behavior for a quiet, calm domain. For matters of our politics, you must leave this task to men, for complicated business would harm your pretty head because women were the main drivers of the prohibition movement, the brewers and distillers fought against women's suffrage. In fact, on election day, they would offer free beer to any man who would vote against women's suffrage. But I knew, like so many others, that things would never get better if I didn't stand up and raise my voice for the cause we needed fair wages, we needed safe and sanitary working conditions, and we needed an end to the exploitation of child labor. I had joined the crusade to fight for women's right to vote. It is a fundamental liberty, is it not? We were merely conducting a peaceful protest, carrying placards across the street from the White House. For what is right resides within me, and I will carry the water for this cause. If I abandoned it, what would be left of me? who support votes for women, just as there are millions of women who are opposed to it. I stand before you with humility and forbearance to plead against giving women the right to vote. Women are revered and respected and on a higher plane than man. Womanhood is pure and lovely. The legal disability that has been forced upon women if a desire to be chivalrous has been the mainspring of man's dominion over women, then it should have prompted him to place in her hands the very weapons of defense. Oppression and war will be heard of no more. The blood of a slavery is print on our shore. Conventions will then be a useless expense. We'll all go free suffrage a hundred years. All the attempts at peaceful negotiation, trying to do things the right way, all the efforts of the suffragists just seemed to be going nowhere. Thomas Jefferson proclaimed that equality would be the bedrock of this new American government. 143 years later, the Constitution was amended. Their voice could make a difference. Let us take courage from their stories and continue the good fight 
in the decisive hours. I am standing on the shoulders of the ones who came before me. I am stronger for their courage. I am wiser for their work. And my soul.